And then I think we all know too that, or it's becoming more and more common for people to realize that once the sale is made, that's really when the real work begins, right? So customer marketing is huge, especially for, um, for, for companies, for SaaS companies, any, any companies in business that is counting on renewals. And um, there's so much competition out there today that it's really important that we nurture and show the love to our customers. So um, in terms of customer marketing, we talked a little bit about onboarding and training, but also how can we upsell? How can we sell more products and services and educate them about our offerings? Um, how can we be thought leaders and deliver awesome customer communications and newsletters? And then customer campaigns, like we talked about the onboarding, and then eventually advocacy programs, really identifying and leveraging your awesome advocates. I can say right now, Eric is one of my advocates. He's awesome, he's a huge fan. He's done a customer case study with us, and he's obviously here today to talk about AES and their use of Act On. Um, but as uh, you know, time progresses, and you kind of get in the modern age here, uh, more and more potential donors were researching this concept themselves and learning about it and then doing some uh, due diligence and education on it and then turning to their financial advisor and saying, hey, this is a thing I've learned about. You know, what, what do you think about? It? Is this a good idea for, for me and my circumstances? And so, uh, you know, we've kind of transitioned from that historical aspect of pursuing these individual financial advisors and these custodians and some of these uh, personnel at these large investment firms like, you know, TD Ameritrade and some of these other, you know, big brands that you might be familiar with, but recognizing, recognizing that shift over time uh, and recognizing that we were, you know, we needed to broaden our efforts across uh, some multiple audiences uh, and being able then really that recognizing that challenge of getting our thought leadership material in front of the right people uh, at the right time across the full spectrum of the digital marketing efforts that we could engage in. And so broadening our reach across those audiences is really what we recognize that we need to do better and recognize that, you know, Act On was the tool by which to do that. Awesome. Thank you. And then since implementing Act On, Eric, can you highlight a few successes that you are really proud about? Well, just, you know, being able to, um, you know, get more and more of our thought leadership out there to people. And so building the capabilities to kind of solidify our expertise, you know, publish it in an attractive manner and be able to measure, you know, how people are interacting with what we produce. And so, uh, you know, being able to do that in a consistent fashion, being able to build audience over time and really being able to have information that people trust, rely on, appreciate, and, uh, and actually you know, rely on it to a point where it's become actually a reference material. It's not just merely content that we've shared out there. It's that uh, you know, one of the things that we've discovered after we started doing engaged in regular uh, scheduled publications is that our audience out there was actually saving what we sent them. They were actually building a library in their own, you know, Outlook inboxes of our AF insights that they would receive because they relied and trusted on the subject matter well enough that they knew they wanted to refer to it again. And uh, so once we sort of heard that, you know, the first time, I thought, oh, that's a neat story. And then we heard it a second time and a third time and a fourth time across our audience out there that they found this information relevant and useful enough that this is something they were doing with it is really gratifying because you know you've really um, put the information in front of an audience that truly appreciates it. That's awesome, and I, you know, I just, I, I'm just was has, was so impressed in interviewing you for the case study in terms of like just that 100% increase in lead engagement by using advanced segmentation. So really knowing what your um, your customers are interested in and um, and basing that on their engagement and their behavior and then tailoring that um, that thought leadership and the, and those those subject matters to those folks. So I think that's awesome. And then also you've also used Act On's adaptive send feature, which um, which really sort of pays attention to when right. your audience is typically um, opening and reading your emails and then sending it to them. 
um, during those times. So if someone like me, Sarah Moore, likes to, you know, um, read her emails first thing in the morning while working out on the treadmill, awesome. Or sometimes there are folks who do it at lunch or mm -hmm. who, you know, are doing it right before bed. So I think, you know, you really, it, it really goes to show you that you saw once you used Adaptive Send, a 30% increase in open rates or 30% open rate, sorry, using Adaptive Send, which is pretty impressive. So love seeing all this.